Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have 10 mods that in my opinion can be pretty helpful if you're going to be playing on a server. And regardless of the kind of server you're playing on, I believe you will find at least a few of these mods to be helpful. You'll want to check with your server's rules just to make sure whichever mods you select can in fact be used on your server. Most of them should be okay, but you know, you should probably check regardless because it's just never fun to be banned from a server you enjoy. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, the first mod I have for you guys today is the Better PvP mod. And this mod for quite some time has been one of the best mods out there that just adds pretty much all the features you'll need for PvP. The mod gives you a mini-map, status indicators, and really a bunch of other features that you will find tremendously helpful. But really, what's the coolest part of this mod is the fact that you can actually customize everything in-game. You can customize the layout and what actually is activated. So if there's a feature you don't like, just turn it off. The next two mods I have on this list are mods that are going to make it so when something goes wrong with Minecraft, they the effects are just a little less annoying. And the first of these is Vanilla Fix. This mod will boost your performance somewhat, but personally, what I consider to be its best feature is if your game crashes, rather than just quitting out of the entire game, it'll just send you to the main menu. And this can save you a lot of time, especially if, say, you're on a server where if you get disconnected, you're probably gonna die and you need to get back on really fast. It can truly be a very, very helpful feature. The second of these two mods is Re-Off. And I think we all know just how annoying it is when, for some reason, Minecraft suddenly says it's invalidated or whatever, and you have to restart your entire game just to play. This mod just provides you with a quick fix for that issue. Next up, we have the Neat mod, and this mod will make it so all the entities in your game will just have a health bar above them. And this mod is very simplistic in its design, it just looks very clean in general, and I really like that personally. It gives you all the information you need in a nice, simple little package. For the next mod on this list, I have a mod that you should install if you're just looking for raw performance, and this is the Sodium mod. I actually did a full video review on this particular mod, and you can see just how insane the gains are from this mod. Even in this clip though, you can see when I'm sitting at 32 render distance, I go from 40 FPS to about 400. And you know, when playing online, you're gonna want pretty much the highest frame rate you can get, within reason. Plus, this mod actually makes Minecraft look a bit better too. Now, this next mod on the list is probably the sketchiest in terms of what will be allowed on a server. So again, just make sure if you're going to use this mod, you're actually allowed to use it. And this is the picture in picture mod. With this mod, you can actually view your friends or enemies point of view on your screen. And this can be an incredibly useful feature because you'll know what the person is doing that you're watching. You can even add multiple screens to watch and change the size of the windows. Again, though, this is a mod you're absolutely going to want to make sure you can use. Next, we have what I would consider to be one of my favorite mods out there, and this is the Replay mod. This mod adds what is essentially a theater mode to Minecraft, and this works on servers too. Not only can you use this to rewatch your gameplay from the past, but you could also use it to do things like catching hackers. It's surprisingly lightweight to run, it really doesn't even impact your performance, and it's just a lot of fun to use. Next up, we have Inventory Sorter, and I don't know about you guys, but I found quite often that one of the things I have to deal with, which I usually don't want to, is sorting my inventory. And this mod will go ahead and just do that instantly for you. And also as another cool feature, whenever you have your pointer over a certain block and then you scroll up, you'll actually take one block at a time. And this is a great way to quickly and efficiently get a very specific amount of items that you need. For the second to last mod on this list, I have a mod that those of you that do speed building will be very happy to see, and this is the Better Placement mod. With this mod installed, no longer will you have to spam click whenever you're trying to build a bunch of blocks at once, you can actually just move and hold down the mouse button, and it'll place them all for you. I'm pretty sure this is how it works on the console version of Minecraft, and you know, I think this should just be included in creative mode in general. It doesn't work flawlessly, but it works a lot better than vanilla, that's for sure. Finally, the last mod I have for you guys today is actually a mod client, and this is the Bad Lion client. Now, there's several things that I really enjoy about this. First off, it has a ridiculous amount of features for you to mess around with. I honestly don't know what half of them do, but the other half are either really cool or very helpful. The client also tends to be updated to the newest versions of Minecraft quite quickly, which is something that a lot of other Minecraft clients just don't really do. And plus, the client contains the holy grail of mods, Optifine. I would absolutely recommend giving the Bad Lion client to shot. It just has so many cool features to play around with. And like I said, it's available for most versions of Minecraft at this point. That's going to be the end of this video. And just like always, if there's any mods you think should have been included on this list, go ahead and comment those below. I'm sure when it comes to something like this, there's plenty of other good options out there. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.